Hello you guys, my name is Hadassah. Welcome to the Hadassah Door channel where I talk about styling and sewing, of course. And today I'm doing the seamstress tag. Basically, this is gonna be a sewing video and what made me get into sewing, of course. I saw this tag on Holly Sews channel. Basically, um, she's another sewing vlogger like I and many other sewing vloggers. There's a lot of sewing vloggers in the community of YouTube and I had to join the bag wagon and, and answer these questions so you guys can understand why I love sewing so much, why I love fashion so much, and why I love creating my own clothes so much. So let's get straight into these questions. Of course, I'm going to be looking this way because my laptop is here and it has the questions, so don't mind when I look this way and look back. I'm just trying to read what the questions are and I'm going to answer you. So let's get into this. Who are you? Okay. Number one. My name's Hadassah Dorsey. I'm a 20 year old from Brooklyn, New York. Um, I am a fashion designer. I consider myself a fashion designer, number one, because I sew everything from my own ideas, my own, you know, thoughts and I uh, design ideas that I come up with and I just construct it into reality. And that's pretty much it, yeah. That's, that's who I am. Hopefully one day you'll see me on the runway at New York Fashion Week. You're gonna see me in one of my shows there. When and why did you start sewing? I started sewing the year of 2011. Um, that was my sophomore year of high school. I went to the High School of Fashion Industries. So basically, it's a high school that teaches you regular academics like any other high school student. However, we major in, um, either you can major in as a fashion design student or a fashion business student or a fashion art student. All things falling into the fashion industry, of course, or the field of fashion. And if you are a fashion design major, during your sophomore year, that's when you learned sewing construction. Sorry, there was a gnat here. Um, that's when you learned sewing construction. So that year, 2011, that's when I learned how to sew. And why did I learn how to sew? Why did I wanted to start learning how to sew? And become, because I wanted to be a fashion designer. And of course, to be a fashion designer, you have to understand the concept and the construction of sewing, or you can't make your designs come to reality what is your favorite or proudest make hmm you know how many things I've made there's a lot of things I'm really proud of um, other things not so proud of but I've made so many things however I would say my proudest make my proudest make would be my first bridal dress I've ever made uh, it was a bridal dress that I did for a bridal competition which I won this bridal competition was hosted by the famous, world-renowned Kleinfeld Bridal Boutique. It is one of like the number one bridal boutiques where people go buy their wedding dresses, the wedding dress of their dreams, of course. If you watch Say Yes to the Dress, you probably know about this. They hosted a bridal challenge competition where high school students, of course my high school, because that's, I think that's the only New York City high school I know that uh, students know how to sew or students, it caters to fashion. And I was, uh, it was, it's only catered to the seniors because the seniors, by the time you're a senior, you're, you well develop your sewing skills. And I made a bridal dress and I was the winner. I was the 2014 Kleinfeld Bridal Competition winner. And I love that dress. It's one of my proudest makes till this day. I love it. It's beautiful. It's, it's timeless, I feel. I'll put a picture right here so you can see it. But yeah. Where is your favorite place to go fabric shopping? Of course. Now. Amongst the sewing vlog community or blogger communities, all the sewing bloggers, I know, a lot of them don't have the opportunity or the chance to live in New York. They're not, you know, they're not as lucky as me to live in New York. And of course, the number one place, a lot of sewers, a lot of people, a lot of seamstresses, fashion designers, all, everybody wants to shop in the garment district. Now, the garment district is a neighborhood in Manhattan. It ranges from West 35th to West 40th Street and 6th Avenue and 7th Avenue, also known as Fashion Avenue, and 8th Avenue around that area, you can find fabric stores, notion stores, trimming stores, manufacturing stores. So like if you're a big designer and you wanna get your stuff reproduced, you will find a manufacturer around there. You can find um, pattern making services there, of course. You can find sample making services there, of course. Everything, even if, so say you're a designer and you have no skills of sewing, at least if you live in New York City, all of the 
materials and services are available for you so you can get those things done if you don't know how to do it yourself. And that's what's so amazing about the garment district. I'm always shopping there. There's so much fabric, so much different things I can buy. And if you if you ask any other seamstress or sewing blogger from other states and other places, they tell you like if they get the opportunity in New York to come to New York, that's the first place they want to be at. So I'm very lucky and I love shopping there. What is your most used pattern? My most used pattern, I would say, first of all, I was a self-drafted pattern maker before purchasing patterns. I used to do a lot of self-drafted patterns because I learned how to, you know, create my own patterns from scratch from school. However, uh, now I'm starting to purchase patterns because I'm lazy. I just don't have time to self-draft patterns anymore. I'd rather just buy the pattern, modify it to, to the sizing that I need or to the silhouette or the pattern style that I need. And um, my most used pattern, I would say, till this day, is my self-drafted knit bodice pattern. Basically, it's a, it's a regular bodice pattern where but it caters to knit fabrics meaning not knit fabrics like you know where you knit stuff but knit fabrics meaning like jersey uh spandex um things have having stretch to it of course you know lycra all those things where you can make like sweatpants and a t-shirt or a body gone skirt or a crop top those things where you know the fabric needs some some type of elasticity that's where a knit bodice would be needed because it because most of the time it's smaller than a regular bodice because of course it it's uh it caters to you know the stretch of the fabric so i use that till this day because a lot of the stuff that i like to make are crop tops and skirts and stuff that you know stretch to your body or fit to your body and i love the way jersey feels i love how a lot of knit fabrics feel so i'm always making things out of knit fabrics of course because that's that's what i like that's what i like of course i i do create things out of woven fabrics of course but that is my most used pattern my knit bodice pattern point blank period your most dreaded sewing task. I hate, and I think anybody who sews, they hate the process of cutting the fabric from the pattern. Meaning, when you have to fold your pattern, pull, cut, you know, place your pattern onto your fabric, um, pin it down, mark all the markings, cut it out. It, it's a lot. That process right there is a lot of work. Um, some people say, oh, no, you're just cutting stuff. But it is because it's it, you, your, the construction of your dress or your garment or whatever you're making depends on when you're cutting the fabric. It depends on how you mark the fabric and everything. So if you don't do it correctly then, then your whole project will be a hot-ass mess after, of course. So I hate that. I really just hate that part. And I think that part is the part that, you know, elongates your project because it's allowing you to procrastinate. Like, I'll procrastinate that part. And it... it It'll stretch out a time for a project because I was procrastinating that process, which could have been really quick. So, I I'm human. Hey, I can't help it. Um, another sewing task I hate is sewing the set the setting sleeve. Of course. Now, what is the setting sleeve? Of course, if you're creating like a tailored piece, like a like a jacket or a blazer. Or, so, of course, something out of a woven fabric where the sleeve, it has to be... A lot of, you know, uh, woven fabric projects, you know, you have to set in the sleeves. But those particular projects, like a blazer or a jacket, and you have to set in the sleeves, it has to be on point. And it, it can be annoying because then you have to, you know, you have to shear the cap of the sleeve. Then you have to pin it to the armhole and make sure, you know, you spread it out evenly and it fits the armhole of the bodice. It's a lot of work. I hate it. But, of course, if I want a good jacket, I want a good blazer or something like that, they got to be on point. And I'll make sure, I will make sure it is on point, but I really just hate it. I avoid, I, I avoid projects like that. I really do. I hate it. Next question. My favorite sewing task. Um, like anybody else, my favorite sewing task is the actual sewing part of, you know, making a project. Not, you know, not cutting the fabric, not cutting the pattern, not altering the pattern but it's just actually sewing the garment together and seeing it come together and like you know and especially when you're sewing and everything's going smooth so as you're sewing it you start to see it like oh my god i i got the shoulder seams together i got the side bodices together oh my god i put a zipper in um those things are fun i love that i think it's awesome i think one of my those i i guess that's not a task but i think my favorite sewing project would be creating a skirt it's pretty easy um, I, I can, I don't really need to read instructions for a song, so it's like one, two, three, and I get it done. If I need to go somewhere, 
I can make a sewing, I can make a skirt real quick, real fast, no problem. So I love that. I love that. It's just seeing the completion of a project. I guess that's my favorite part in sewing. What is your favorite sewing entertainment? My favorite sewing entertainment. So I'm going to assume something that entertains you while you're sewing because sewing is a is a task, you know, it takes time, you know. You can be sewing a project that takes two hours or you can be sewing a project that might take all day a good eight hours. And of course, you need something to pass the time. So as I'm sewing, I would say my favorite entertainment is, of course, listening to music. Um, I sew in the basement of my house and my, I'm pointing like you guys can see, but I sew in the basement of my house and my television, which is to my right, I'll just play music on my television because it has a surround system so I can listen to the music in my basement. And if I really want to zone out, I don't want to hear anybody coming up and down the stairs or bothering me. I'll put on my beats, I'll put on my beat headphones and just zone out and listen to my music because it isolates around me and I'll just be sewing, I'll be jamming. And of course, if I'm not listening to music, I'm on a phone conversation with a friend because I saw at night. So sometimes I could be talking to my friends like, you know, hey, what's up, girl? I go saw that. I'm like, yeah, girl. And I got my beats. I'm like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Did you see her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that chatter, chatter, you know, regular, regular. And if I'm not listening to music, most likely I will watch TV. But TV can really be distracting while you're sewing because you're supposed to be focused sewing not watching the television and mishaps can happen i mean i've been sewing for a long time nothing does happen to me but it i don't think tv is worth it while sewing just music maybe a conversation here or there but if i mean i'm watching tv i'll play something i've seen already so i'm just listening to what's going on so but i need like sound going on like good sound not people like talking to me i don't want to hear my mother or you know i don't want to hear my siblings annoying me or something like that printed or pdf Printed, I'm totally into printed now. As of this summer, I've just been purchasing patterns after patterns after patterns, the actual pattern from the envelope. Before, I used to, you know, I've been buying patterns for a while now because I'm just, I just get like, I'm so lazy with the self-drafted thing now. Um, but of course, I used to do PDF before because a lot of the modern patterns, a lot of the new style patterns, you know, things that cater to a lot of clothes that's being made today, um, they would be in PDF form, so I would just buy a PDF, of course, but that got so annoying, especially, like, I shop from a BertaStyle.com, and they have amazing pattern there. I really love their pattern, but it's an online site, and, of course, all of the patterns are PDF form, so when you print it out, of course, that's wasting a lot of ink, and after you, like, printed pages and pages and pages of a PDF, now you have to tile it, you have to cut it, tape it, and tile it together to make a large, you know, printed pattern it, it it would be a lot of work i mean i still do it if i really love the pattern if i'm purchasing a pattern i really love it and they only have it in pdf form i'll still like buy it and do it but i'd rather just go to the store or i'd rather just go online shopping for um a pattern that i can get shipped to me or i can get it in the envelope and and you know just take it out the envelope and cut it out and all that stuff because i hate the whole pdf thing now or also if they do do PDF, I'd like to get the copy shop PDF form. So basically, it's a PDF that I can bring to a, a, my local FedEx or, you know, any printing store, and they can print it out really large for you, of course, and you, you know, you take it home and cut it out and all that stuff. But a lot of days, a lot of, a lot of these days, a lot of the PDFs don't come in copy shop form. I would really love, if Berta Style is watching this video, I would really love if you guys can bring the copy shop PDFs. I, I get it that y'all don't do printed, but bring the copy shop because I don't mind going to a copy shop and print it out because tiling it, that's just too much work. Ain't nobody got time for that. Mm -mm. What sewing machine do I use? I have three sewing machines. Um, my sewing, The sewing machine that I have is a Brother. It's a Brother sewing machine. It's the Brother CS. 600 or 6,000i. I'll put a picture here. Um, I do have, I do own home machines. Um, I use industrial machines, but I don't, I don't have one. Like my friend, he goes to school at FIT. If I need an industrial machine, I'll just ask if I can hang out with him at his school and use the industrial sewing machine at their sewing labs and their, in the, in the FIT. A serger is a Singer serger. It is the Singer stylus serger. It's pretty old. I'll probably upgrade pretty soon. 
Um, but right now, it, it does a, a decent basic job of just, over, you know, surging my seams and making it clean. And my cover stitch machine, I have a Genome or a Genomi. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. Genome or Genomi, please tell me if I'm wrong. I have the 900 Cover Pro, which is the first series out of the Cover Pro series. Um, it does a good job of a cover stitch. I'm guessing the newer Cover Pros, they have, like, newer features, but I don't need anything crazy. Do I have any other hobbies? No, I don't. Not like I mean, I do, but they're not as dominant as, of course, sewing. Um, as a fashion designer, I'm either sewing my projects, I'm either doing a fashion show, I'm either working with a client, doing custom client work, or I'm uh, I'm styling a photo shoot set. Uh, whether with because I'm also a stylist, I'm also styling agency models. So like this kind of like takes over my life because it's it's not just a hobby it's also my career other than sewing i guess the things i like to do is i like to sing and dance but they're not they're just hobbies like that would i would say is just hobby i like to sing and dance with my family and friends you know i like to is eating a hobby i would say eating is a hobby because you know that takes skill that takes craft you know to you know no okay maybe i'm pushing it okay whatever but um <laughs> um uh, yeah, that's, follow me on my social media links. Uh, follow me on hadassador.com. That's my blog and my website where I sell all my stuff. Of course, you can follow me on Instagram at hadassador. You can follow me on Facebook or like my Facebook, my fo like my Facebook page at hadassador. Of course, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. You guys have a wonderful day. See ya. You like my little, you like my little Paris hat. <laughs>